You know, bookstores are good things. A word to the wise, gross domestic product, also referred to as GDP. It's the total value of all goods and services produced in a country during a given year. In 2008, the U.S. had the highest GDP in the world for an individual country, around $14.5 trillion. China, Germany, India, and Russia, they were all ranked in the top 10 as well. But the financial crisis is being felt across the globe. CNN correspondents check in with reports on its impact in this economic world tour. I'm John Falls in Beijing. China is dealing with a dramatic fall in exports, a direct result of consumers around the world, especially the U.S., cutting back their spending. Tens of thousands of factories have closed, 20 million workers are out of a job, and unemployment is also rising among university graduates and professionals. And after a boom in housing, real estate prices are starting to fall, with state media reporting there's a glut of residential properties in the big cities which may take years to sell. I'm Fred Pletkin in Berlin, Germany, and Germany is the largest exporter of industrial goods in the world. The big issue in this country, the auto industry. Porsche, BMW, VW, Mercedes-Benz, and Audi have already laid off tens of thousands of temporary workers. GM also employs about 25,000 people in this country, and the German government says it's in talks with GM in Detroit to save as many of those jobs as possible. Sarah Seidner in New Delhi, India, where the Indian Home Minister just last month said that India was one of just a handful of countries that is a shining example of a resilient economy. Now, he credits much of that to domestic consumption. And if you take a look at this everyday working kind of man's market, it is full of people and they are buying. But economists warn there are some troubling figures out there and they have to do with production. The gross domestic product increased by 5.3 percent in the third quarter, but that's down from 9 percent in the last couple of years. What does all this mean? Economists say there's a severe slowdown here, but India is not in a recession right now. I'm Matthew Chance in Moscow, and Russia has been hit extremely hard in the global economic downturn. And there's evidence people here are increasingly pessimistic about the state of their finances and what the government can do about them. In one opinion poll this month, it suggests that 58% of Russians believe the economic crisis is deepening, just 3% that the crisis will be over this time next year. The efforts of the Russian government, which has tried to inject billions of dollars to support the economy, has been noticed. But according to the polls uh, conducted by the Public Opinion Foundation in Moscow, 39% of Russians believe the government cannot protect them from the negative effects of the crisis, even if it wanted to. It's time for the shout-out. And to see if you were paying attention. What's the official...